This is actually an old concept. We've been talking about doing this for a while, which is bouncing around to different parts of the world, getting affiliate owners um, together, and just kind of talking best practices, what's, what's, what's worked, um, what hasn't, things we picked up along the way, things that have come and gone. I'm going to go ahead and take the conversation here because it's one of the things I really wanted to get into. Yes, and I'm it, passionate now. No, 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 no I'm serious. Like the, I, 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 have, I have a major, major problem, something I've seen for years and years. It, it blows my mind how many affiliates out there don't have a structured nutrition component to their program. I ma it makes no damn sense to me at all. I don't get it. No. Nope. Like our, when I ran my affiliate, our nutrition program was every bit as as fundamental and, 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 and just foundational to the CrossFit 801 program as the air squad. There's, there's so much potential there and there's so much opportunity to help your athletes help themselves outside of the walls of your gym. I think a fair assessment, and tell me if you guys agree with this, is that 50% of the people that come to, uh, to join the program are looking to lose weight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, 50% more. That's a, more that's a yeah, safe number. Yeah, I would say number. more. Because, yeah, right? That's yeah. a, a lot of number. people that you see that want to lose weight, they don't want to lose, like you've got the, hey, I'm going to lose 100 pounds, but you also have the, I need to lose 10, and that might not be as visually obvious. Well, so, you know. without some background, more so than just what we learned at the level one, some nutritional background, you're not going to be able to address that client's needs. It's going to be an uphill battle because, again, they'll probably try to continue feeding themselves that they have been by adding a CrossFit program in addition to it and hope to see results. People, people come in, everyone comes in, they want to look better, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that, if it means 10 pounds, they just need to tighten up, or it means 100 pounds, something massive. Or if it's the guy who wants to put on, like the skinny dude who wants to put on mass. Yes. How do it do doesn't that? matter. How do you do that? Like you have to And how do you things. do that? Those questions, like for, right. like, I know I've messed up. I had an endurance athlete, this is like four or five years ago, that I prescribed the zone for them and thought, oh, we'll just do three times fat and, and they should be good to go and, and, we're, and we're good there. And they were like, I'm bonking, I'm, cr I'm crashing. I'm like, oh, just stay the course. We'll do it for four weeks. And you know, I learned from it, but I learned from it because it was like, this isn't working. Oh, talk to some people, go online, do some research, read the old message boards, which there's so much information in the old message where I was like, yeah. oh, it's not about more fat alone. They need more blocks. And all of that stuff, you, you have to dive into it and, and know that you're going to mess up. And you know what? As long as you care at the end of the day, as long as you say, hey, you know what? I don't have the answer right now. I know you're bonking it and I'm gonna figure, we're going to figure this out. Right. Then, then you've given them an answer. And you'll know it for the next person. It's, and you'll know yeah. it for the next person, the which is the huge you've gotta, yeah. you got to fail to figure out but the you, answer to all the other questions. Sure. But there's up. also yeah. a huge <laughs> other yeah. element, too, that I think gets missed. And... I know people probably people think I'm extreme on this, but very. Um, Doesn't matter where you're going with like, this. You are very extreme. <laughs> Correct. I like I remember this was a number of years ago, and we had a coach, and he came into the gym with a Chick Fil A cup before coaching. Oh, and I was did like, you throw him out of the gym? smacked it out yeah. of his hand. Yeah, she threw him out of the gym. I knew you would. No, and I was like, that's not that's not the example I want for my members. He's like, no, but it's soda water. And I did. I opened. I'm like, okay, I don't even care that it's soda water. Fast food is not, the message that my coaches have fast food is not the message I want for my, my athletes. And I'm not saying that, well, I've actually never had fast food in a long time. But the point <laughs> is, you're good. yes, maybe you're going to have fast food. And I'm not saying that you can never have it. But you know what? When your athletes come to the gym, this is their safe haven. I don't want to sell anything in my in my you know little pro shop or whatever that my athlete has to walk by and every day choose not to make a bad decision. Sure. So I'm not going to carry like paleo brownies or things that are just not what we're sticking true to with sure. zone and paleo. And and yes, there's there's a balance between all of that, but the message is so important that trickle down of so how are your coaches eating? My coaches, I love it when I see them at the, at the desk when they finish coaching 6.30 and they've got their Tupperware of food yeah. that they packed the night before. Yeah. That is the best message. Yeah, it's the leading, could, for leading from the front. Well, that's, what, that's what I was going to say. There's the a front. moral obligation, but what it comes down to is leading by example. Sure. Right? It's like that's exactly what, if I was having a conversa conversation with Cherie and I was a new athlete, I would want to know exactly what she has done and is doing. Sure. And that's another thing too, is and that what the future looks correct. like. Correct. Right. And yeah. and people I'll have conversations with people and they'll be like, Well, so do you really you eat this way all the time? I'm like, yes, most of ninety nine percent of the time I eat this way. Like, well it's really hard. You know what? That's the responsibility you signed up for when you're an affiliate owner. 
yeah. you know and it's like that's, that's the, the care part the obligation that's what that's the job you wanted that's what you signed up for you wanted to help people and the idea that oh it's too hard or i don't have time for that it's like that's the role that's the role model part of Did the you? job